I have not uh, a record of making wild charges. You may not been used to humans in your uh, in your life, but well, we are all human. That's not an argument. That's a stupid argument. If you behave like a non-Brahmin while being a Brahmin, they'll be suspect you even more. And after Harvard, after all the controversies, you're still I told not Harvard changing. I don't want to go to hell. So that means how strongly I feel about this. Subramanian Swami may have turned 80, but he doesn't seem to be in any mood to slow down. Through our archives, here's a look at what made him a consummate politician of contrarian views, a relentless crusader and an opinionated academic. Swami is no stranger to controversy. It's no use just giving speeches anymore. People are fed up with speeches and walkouts in parliament. They want action. If you look over the last 20, 30 years, hmm. uh, not 30, 25 years, I would say I would have fought about on public interest about 45 cases and I won almost all of them. He made a name for himself by taking on the rich and the powerful. In 1996, he filed a criminal complaint against the then Tamil Nadu Chief Minister, Jay Jailalitha, which led to her prosecution, conviction and four-year jail term. She has uh, some good qualities. I would not say that she's, uh, she doesn't have. But the problem is that she is surrounded by mafia elements and therefore she will not be able to come out of that. In 2008, he exposed the multi-crow 2G scam implicating both former Telecom Minister A. Raja and ex-Finance Minister P. Chidambaram. In 2012, he accused Sonia and Rahul Gandhi of committing fraud worth rupees 2,000 crore in the National Herald case. You think that the Congress President and Rahul Gandhi will be jailed in this particular case? Will be jailed. And if that doesn't happen? What do you mean if it doesn't happen? You ask me what will happen, I've told you. No, no. Why should I think of what will not happen when I know what is going to happen? He targeted Sonia again when the Augusta Westland scam came to light. Former SIT of CBI, Enforcement Directorate, RAW, IB, Department of Revenue Intelligence. And they should then drop a list of people who have to be interrogated. Mm. Sonia Gandhi is first in the list. Swami is known for his sharp personal attacks against his political opponents, particularly the Nehru Gandhi family. Let me tell you, Sonia Gandhi is the biggest coward in this country. Rahul Gandhi is Buddha. And he will never vote. Mr. Vadra should, uh, should concentrate on staying out of jail instead of making political comments. If there's Swami the anti-corruption crusader, there's also the pro-Hindutva champion facet in his personality. Hindus uh, and Muslims have the same DNA. Since the DNA of the both is the same, it means that we actually both have a common ancestry. And this uh, squares with the fact that uh, most of the Muslims have been forcibly converted. Do you dislike Muslims? <laughs> How could I? I got a son-in-law who's a Muslim. That's he what has I not find complained. So... <laughs> he yeah. hasn't complained? Yeah, he hasn't complained. Your son-in-law has no objections to I your know, views? I, I can't say whether he has objections or not, but he hasn't complained to me. The Hindutva of what happened in Gujarat or Babri Masjid is a targeting of, of another community. And, uh, you know, I, I was not in favour of that. In 2016, he filed a plea in the Supreme Court for construction of the Ram Temple at the disputed site in Ayodhya. And I produced the only argument, which is unbeatable argument, that we have a fundamental right to worship, and what the Muslims are asking for is a right to property. So, therefore, uh, uh, I have done it without the government. Swami's political leanings have always been to the right. He was elected Rajya Sabha MP five times between 1974 and 1999, first on a Jansang ticket, then by the Janta Party. He served as president of the Janta Party until 2013, when he merged his ragtag outfit and joined the BJP. But his combative nature doesn't always win him fans. Well, I think the comment I've heard most of all is that I'm unpredictable. Vajpayee asked once Mr. Na Narsimha Rao, how can you manage this man? He says, depends on how you treat him. Are you saying, are you happy with the BJP? Of course I'm happy with the BJP. Do you feel proud of being a BJP member? Of course I'm proud to be a BJP member. 
But I, I have views. I am an educated man. I am bound to have views. Swami has openly taken on the BJP on several matters. I wrote a PM a 16-page letter with statistics from his own departments to show that there are five storm signals. I said the growth rate is lower than what is being told to you and that it is going to decline. But for all his friction within the party, Swami is clear where he stands with the top leadership. Uh, the Prime Minister and I have been meeting occasionally uh, and we, have, we are of one mind and uh, we have known each other since 1972. Uh, I find it very easy to work with uh, Amit Shah because he's as blunt as I am. What is against me, you see? There's nothing against me. Uh, you can't say my age is against me. There are people who can't stand for more than 15 minutes uh, much younger than me. I mean, they, these are silly things which uh, are trotted out. But the real reason is that I can't be managed. I have to be, I have to be persuaded. I have to be explained to. I will not just simply say, in the interest of the party, somebody is doing corruption, I'll keep quiet. I will not keep quiet. That is the fear. And that's Subramanian Swami for you in all shades of grey.